Happy birthday. It's daddy's birthday. Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Farmer Murray. Not that he listens to this, but if you're listening to this, hi. Hi. Happy birthday. What's the crack, lads? Welcome to another podcast. Are you as well? Stop talking into your phone. I it's my a... phone that's recording, not yours. I know, but I have a Snapchat. I was just booping it with my nose to open it. We would have a sketch on Snapchat, maybe. Or else just use the sketch one's Instagram more. Yeah. Gonna burp. What do you guys think? Are you okay? Was it was it a burp? A yeah. bookie burp or was no, it? No, okay? it was just it was just a normal burp. That's good. That was, it was really... a decent burp there. So hello and welcome to another Skit Twins podcast. Yep. We watched the greatest showman last night and it was good. It was. We're late to join the party, but it was it was great. There's great tunes in it. Except whenever he went into the building and it like sort of fell on him, I was like, Don't worry guys, he's Wolverine and Actors hate that. I'm pretty sure they don't particularly like it. Yeah. Is that your laptop? It's not my laptop, it's my computer. It's very loud. It's humming. Yeah. Sometimes, you know the way like things would like sort of be like making their noise and then it would sort of like, whatever way like the stand would sit, it starts going. No, it gets really loud. And it sounds like it's going to either take off or explode. But then, like, if you put your hand on top of, like, the leg or, like, the screen or whatever, then it stops. It's just because it's vibrating so much that it's just going to be like, no, okay, just me. Yeah, that's just you. We also watched Spider Man. The one with Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. Chloe's future husband. I wouldn't even say no. Like, he's a year younger, but I mean, what's a year? 13 months, actually. It wasn't even me. It wasn't me. It was Hannah. It was her friend that thought like that, that that worked that out. I just knew he was born like in nineteen ninety six, and then Hannah was like, "Oh, June." I was like, "Oh, cool." That's and like then your brain did math. my brain didn't work because it sort of it was like that's twelve <laughs> plus what thirteen. <laughs> it literally took me that long, and I was like, "I did additional maths at GCSE. <laughs> I did chemistry A level." I should be able to add things. I mean, in fairness, I did biology A level, but I did I did okay up until November, and then I just lost the will to live and just chemistry, stopped. Chemistry, I just did it for the chemicals, and the way like technician lady knew that. So every time we like well like the chemicals and like the experiments and stuff, every time we did Bunsen burner stuff, she came over with a couple of wee extra splints just for me. Aww. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then she would have told me what well, acid was the most dangerous. I think she told everybody which one was the most dangerous, but I feel like she just told me just so I could be like extra careful with it. I think it could also be because Big Brother did chemistry and just burn things all the time. Yeah, and you're related to him. Yeah. My voice feels really like high pitched. Does it? Know. Is it higher pitched than normal? <coughs> oh, nice cough. Is this better? Solid. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't this, know. this sounds deeper. It feels more. In the throat, it rather. It feels like, more me. Like, I can feel my voice in the middle of my throat rather than the top of my throat. Uh, yeah. I didn't like biology. Don't do biology for A level unless you really love biology at GCSE. I did. I You did it because your GCSE biology teacher was like, you can do it. Yeah, because I feel, basically was failing biology in the first year of GCSE and then the second year of GCSE I was doing pretty well and then my biology teacher was like yeah why don't you do biology for a level and I was like um uh because I don't think I'd be able to do it I don't think I'm very good at it and he was like Judith you're great at biology you'd be you'd be fine and I was like okay and it was also because I didn't no I wanted to do physics but then you had to have done additional maths <laughs> yeah well like, no, I think I think that and still... that and um BP said that um, um he was the teacher and <laughs> You're saying I'm a lot. <laughs> BP said that he was the teacher and he didn't want to teach me, so I had to pick a different subject. So he tried to convince me to do biology and I was like, nah. And then my biology teacher was like, you'd be good at it. And I was like, okay. But then also, fair enough, BP, because you have to do your additional maths and it was really mathsy and I probably would have just cried. You just rambled there. You already said you had to do maths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did chemistry because I was told I was good at chemistry and then it got to A level and I didn't get the sheets enlarged so like you know like the CACO3 and like the wee threes and stuff couldn't see them properly and I was failing up till Christmas until I eventually sort of went you know I should have those enlarged so I can see those and then they were like oh flip yeah half blind kid yeah oh no 
and then I did slightly better after Christmas but like by Christmas I was just like these people don't even care about me I mean biology so. for me was fun because uh, my biology teacher was super super nice she was one of those really really nice people and she was just too nice and I didn't like her I mean, I did. She was a lovely person. You're she very rambly tonight. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just ended up messing around and putting in stupid answers then towards the end of my biology yeah. career. Shout out to Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Hey. Hey. I'm glad you like our childhood stories. There's more of that coming up. Yeah, we've actually got it written down. You're yeah. the reason that Chloe went really quiet there because she was glaring at me because I was on my phone. No, at the I was looking at you going, what the <laughs> flip are you doing? Because that's what makes you rambly. You like you get distracted and then you're like, um, and yeah, she was just, um, um, <laughs> a really nice, li yeah, she was, she was just too nice if you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking then, you take over. We have no week. Sure, sure I was gonna say, we were talking about films, and this week we were training in the gym, and there was films, there was solid films on like the wee screens, yeah. and we watched The Borrowers, and then we were finished our workout, and then Thunderbirds came on, and we were like, <sighs> we were really sad that we had to leave because Thunderbirds is the best. Thunderbirds is a great film with the, the real people. Yeah, Thunderbirds are go. Then it has that bust busted song. Tune. What a tune. Tune. Yeah. But yeah, speaking about sports, I think we've talked about triathlon a lot, but we, we also surf a bit and we do rowing, which is fun. Rowing's fun because you just go backwards. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you can see where you're going. Except if me and Chloe are in a boat together. <laughs> I think it's the best when me and you are in, yeah, in a boat together. Because we're shouting each other in the water, just like, Janet, look where we're going! Yeah. Are we coming up to the bridge? Me. But that's because I'm always the one in the back who has to look where we're going because you're like, you could see further than me. And I'm like, um, marginally. Yeah. It's terrifying being at the back because... Excuse me, it's terrifying being at the front whenever you're like, hold on, I'll just turn here. I don't turn. I'm like, hold on, stop, so I can like turn and look where we're going. And then I probably make it rocky, but I don't realise because I'm turning around. But like, I have the fear of if we crash, it's my fault. But yeah, anyway, we argue a lot in the boat and we shout at each other and then we get back in off the boat and it's like, so ladies, how was that? And I was like, oh, great. really good. Yeah, I've really it, yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. See you again next week. Everyone's like, you do realise I'm pretty sure half of Derry stroke Londonderry could hear you shouting at each other. And <laughs> just like... We weren't shouting that much. <laughs> it was like loving abuse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, surfing's good crack too. You just sort of have to. I hope we get to go surfing this week. Same. That's why I wanted to mention it. Just sort of subtly hint. Hint at me? Yeah, just that I want to go surfing and I like surfing. So we're going to Donegal, I'm going surfing. Okay, that okay. And stand up paddleboarding and pier jumping and, and all the things. Yeah. Just all the waters we have to swim. In the sea. We don't we don't like open water swimming, guys. Just in case it's that's cold I... and it's scary. It's damp and you can't see the bottom. It depends. Though you might be able to see the bottom. It depends on like what kind of day it is. There could be sharks. <laughs> I say more jellyfish. There could be sharks, though. Okay, there could be sharks. Yeah. I mean, there might not be. I mean, there's only like a not point not one percent chance that there could be a shark, and if it was a shark, it would be a really lost shark. But there's still a chance. I want to be in a musical. Me too, especially after watching The Greatest Showman. Yeah. Although like, Hugh Jackman and that kept singing, and I was just like, I know that he's in Les Mis and he's Jean Valjean and he's a different character, but I was like, he just sounds like him. <laughs> I thought Every the... time he sang, I was like, he sounds like your man from Les Mis. <laughs> Should he is the man from Les Mis? I thought it was really funny and like, oh, what song was it? A Million Dreams? That one? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And he like, whatever way he starts singing, he sounds like, he's, he's he sounds, ma. yeah, <laughs> he sounds real, like country. <laughs> and then he goes back into a normal American accent. Yeah. It's like, dude, what? It's just that one time he sings, yeah. um, like, lying in my bed <laughs> or something. It's like, <laughs> I did just that last night too. I was like, all right, okay, cool. Just you be wee. Because it started off as the kid, and the kid had sort of like a fairly solid American accent. I don't know. I think he's an I think he's an English actor, maybe. Yeah. But also, he sounded like he had like a mouth full of marbles at times. What do you mean? Just sometimes he would have sung, and he would have sung sung like this, 
like his mouth was too relaxed almost. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it sounded like he was trying too hard or puffing it was his cheeks or something. Auto tune, like the kid or yeah, maybe it was auto tune. I don't know. I'd like to think that it wasn't auto tune. I like to think that they're just like talented, but also, damn, they're talented. Yeah, <laughs> it always makes me really like I I enjoy films and stuff, but then sometimes I'm like, damn it, <sighs> wish I had that talent. Yeah. And then whenever I see kids who are like 12 or like even younger acting and like getting awards and stuff, I'm like, why couldn't that be? Like Jacob Tremblay. Why couldn't, why couldn't I be like acting at that age and then I'd be sorted right now? Um, but whatever, it's all good. It's fine. I'm fine. That's good. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Um, so we put up a VI files this week again. Yeah, and lots of people seem to like I, it. I enjoyed doing that one. Yeah. <laughs> we were sort of debating between a funny video and a VI files, and then someone said, Why hey, not why do both? Why can't the VI files be funny? Which they generally are anyway. But yeah, I think that worked well. Yeah. Um, like, do, do you guys want to see more VI files, or would you prefer, like, we want to do another couple of back offs? Yeah. We need to get that sorted, but at the minute, we've got no reason to back. Yeah. And we don't want to. So it would just be sort of baking a cake and then just it going bad and yeah it's just pointless so we sort of have to wait for there to be a party or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is we haven't abandoned Bake Off yeah Bake Off will be back we also have that one that we want to do in Donegal yeah at some point not we this week though yeah, because we have... our cousins are coming down and well I suppose we could we could just be like guys can you hold the camera <laughs> hold up sec we gotta do this but yeah if you have any ideas of like a kind of bake you want us to bake for Bake Off because that's another thing that we never yeah, really know. It's we'll always like cake. cake or cookies. <laughs> so yeah. So like the only two things we know how to bake. Yeah. So, so no. If you I want... think we did brownies one time. We could do meringues. I, suppose. <gasps> I love meringues. I love meringues too. But they have to be like chewy in the middle. Yeah. Crispy on the outside and chewy in the middle. Our mum makes a great pavlova in our aga because we're posh. And well I well that well I do yeah a wee childhood. Sorry. You oh yeah, you could, but um, can I pavlova? just talk about the pavlova first? Okay. My wife's pavlova is great because it's like crispy on the outside. There's like maybe, I'm going to say two thirds of a centimetre thick of a shell. And then on the inside, it's like the creamy, puffs. creamy, marshmallowy, gooey, num num. So good. Mommy, please make pavlova. Thank you. Chloe, what's your childhood story about pavlova? I put a vase in the middle of mummy's pavlova <laughs> because she put cream and fruit on the top and I hate cream and fruit on pavlova, I just like the plain pavlova so I, I just got a vase and just stuffed it <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this, was this at the old house or was yeah. this? I well, just like, dumped you... it in the middle <laughs> sideways, I think there was flowers on it too, I completely ruined it <laughs> Mummy was like, what did you do that for? And I was like, you didn't make me any and she was like, I got you mini meringues and then I felt awful <laughs> Like what age were you? I guess maybe like it must have been seven or eight because that's when I started liking Pablo with Robert. But yeah, that's I don't I genuinely don't remember that. Was it for like a party or something? So, yeah. Was it? Oh it was, dear! I think it was maybe Christmas party, New Year's party, or Easter party, Chloe. or something like that. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> Poor mommy. I just wanted Pavlova. Poor mommy's Pavlova. To be fair though, those Pavlovas weren't as nice because they were done in a fan oven. Yeah. Here we've got the Aga, which makes us sound really posh. We're not posh. The Aga is the only thing that keeps the house heated and it doesn't even work. Yeah. We have the we kitchen have that is warm and everywhere else is cold. We have the Aga on through the summer as well. But I suppose, like, to be fair, we cook on it, like, so it sort of needs to be on. But we have it on during the summer because if we didn't, like, we'd be shivering. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. It's like, it's it's not freezing cold like in summer, but it's it's cold enough that if you're just sitting, you'd need a blanket. You'd, you'd need a jacket or something. Especially at night time. The nights have been really cold lately. It's been lovely. Yeah. I don't like know. It, has, it hasn't for me because I have kept my curtains open and it means I get all the wind going through and it's it's okay at the start and then you wake up and your nose and ears are frozen. <gasps> oh, that's so good. I wish I had that. No, you don't. I do. I like no, last night my ears were so cold they were sore. Wear a hat. And I couldn't heat them up. Wear a hat. I don't I wasn't going to get out of bed to get a hat. I like a cold nose. I don't mind a cold nose. But 
cold ears. And then you like see you stick your face under the cover to try and warm up, and then it's and just you can't stuffy. Breathe. Not that I farted. Do you ever Dutch oven your farts? I think everybody. I does. think everybody. I think does. everybody secretly loves it. If you do, if you don't, then you're a liar. But... Yeah. You just do, you do a good fart, and you're like, oh. <laughs> like you do it, and you know, <laughs> you know this is one. <laughs> Where we should just turn this into like you know like farts and pee podcasts yeah. to just get twins because we just always end up onto like that. Well, we haven't talked about pee, but I mean, if you okay. want to initiate that, then go for it. We will eventually, I do believe. Yeah, but I don't mind. I think that's just the type of person I am. I'm just a mature. Did I give Lauren a shout out? You did. Yes, Lauren, you're getting a second one. Hey. <laughs> Let's let's say hey to Les as well. Hey Les, you're you're great. Sounds like you said Liz there. Les, like, what? Les, like Les Miserables. <laughs> what? What's your name? Les. What's your surname? Miserables. Okay, Mister Miserables. <laughs> <laughs> and hi to everyone at the R and I B. I actually waved my hand yeah. there. Just. Just That's like going to give a blind person a handshake and just sort of oh, stand there. Oh, the secondary embarrassment. Yeah. Uh, I get embarrassed really easily for other people. Yeah, that's what we were talking about yesterday, about how you could be watching films and you could, there's like a plot or something and then someone says something you're like, don't say that! Yeah. Or if, if someone's just being a jerk in a film, you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, come on, don't. Oh, bro, you're gonna. Oh, okay. Oh, you... You idiot. <laughs> you drove the car. You took it. <laughs> you kissed the woman that isn't your wife. Goodbye. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Secondary embarrassment. Yeah. Like, even, like, if you're in the town or whatever, you're walking around and you see someone, like, stumble or, like, yeah. trip. Like, half the time I pretend that I didn't see it. Do you know what I mean? Like, or if someone, like, drops something or they spill their coffee or... Like, something really stupid. Yeah. And you just kind of, you stare at them and you're like, I feel so bad for you, but also I don't want to, like... I don't know. I don't, you I just, don't, you just I don't draw don't attention to it. it. Yeah. You're just like, oh yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah, you're like, if that was me, I wouldn't want anyone to say anything. Yeah. So you're like, I'll just pretend that didn't happen. I'll just ignore it. And then the other person probably go, they definitely saw that, but thank you for not saying anything. That's great. Bye. I'm just gonna go over here. Why is it that we do voices like that and it sounds like we're constipated? <laughs> so you kind of like whenever, you, whenever you're embarrassed. Whenever you're embarrassed, you kind of like pull yourself away and you're kind of like, eh, oh no. Like you pull your neck back. <laughs> you pull your neck back. <laughs> yeah, so it's like no neck because you're like, eh, yeah, oh no. But yeah. I suppose I should I'm be, I'm be throwing another childhood story. Yeah, go for it. Um, it's more like an apology thing. Um, I have a I have a thread on my Twitter and it's just saying sorry to my parents for stupid things that I did as a way. <laughs> um, let's go with, let's go with 96. No, 98. 98. Um, what age would you have been in 98? Three. Three? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. So my daddy had a thing of recording all our Christmases oh. and putting them on video. And then of course we got older and we figured out that you could use these videos to record TV and rewatch them. Which was fantastic. So Dick and Dom and the Bungalow was on, and I was just like, "Yeah, gotta get a video to record this." And I might have recorded over Christmas 1998, and you get like the first five seconds of us walking into the dining room, and then it's just, "Wake up, Dick and Dom, and get out of bed." It's I'm genuinely really gutted because I, I mean we still have we still have the wee small one. It just has to get like put back. I into think we should shape. do that because. Um, our friends, who are also twins, it was their birthday quite recently, happy birthday Shannon and Tyler, um, and they were sitting watching BB videos of like their birthday and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, I wish we could do that. Oh, but we recorded over all of them because we didn't think of the consequences. Which, to be fair though, it was their fault for putting it like right next to all the things. It was in the cabinet, though we probably shouldn't have touched the ones that were in the cabinet. No, because Mama used to tidy up all the ones under the cabinet, so... Oh, okay. We didn't know. Okay. Not our fault. It's all good. We are forgiven. If they're not in the cabinet... Um... Forget that, we're having it. Memories. What? <laughs> Dick and Dom was a good show, I was though. trying to turn it into a quote. 
Dick and Dom was a good show. And Chuckle Vision. Oh, yeah. Chuckle Vision. We lost Barry Chuckle last week. That's, that's Yeah. Sad. Sorry to bring down the tone. It was a good show, though. I like Chuckle Vision. There's like, one of those things, like, I liked double act shows. Yeah. You're making my forehead itchy, but it's not. Sorry. <laughs> we like, because I was just sort of like, yeah, that could be me and Judith. Like, yeah, Dick and Dom, why not Chloe and Judith? Aunt and Dick, why not Chloe and Judith? Barry and Paul, why not Chloe and Judith? Why are all the double acts male? That's why we need to get in there. Yeah. Sam and Mark as well. Oh yeah, Sam and Mark were funny. R, they're still on TV. R. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't Rude. watch their shows anymore. <laughs> I mean, I follow them on like Instagram and stuff. Yeah, they always make up cool songs. We should make up some cool songs. Excuse me, I make up cool songs all the time. Like what? Like, They Destroyed My Home. I think that's in podcast too. Oh, it's a good song. You should... Excuse me. You should go back and listen to that, guys. The second podcast Maybe, maybe three. Just four. listen to all the podcasts again. Yeah. That'd be great. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to have to hold my breath. Cool, you have 30 seconds to talk. <sighs> Judith smells really bad sometimes. And... <laughs> She pulls really ra- really angry faces. She looks kind of like a duck or an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I like looking like an eagle. <laughs> and her hiccups are still here. So that means I get to talk again. And right now she looks kind of like, I don't know, one of those puffer fish. <laughs> okay, no, she doesn't look like a puffer fish. I don't know what she looks like. <sighs> Oh, she just breathed in my face. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> I got her spit. Beautiful. I think I'm great. My head hurts now. Great. Yeah. <gasps> no, I'm okay. I'm just gonna yawn. You're just gonna yawn. Oh, my word. <sighs> Did you know that yawning is lack of oxygen? Yeah, so I know, yawn. but it's but it's also like tired. Yeah, but I think that was a lack of oxygen yawn because I held my breath. That's right. So I wasn't getting oxygen. Chloe's getting cross at me because I'm too no, close to the mic. No, because you dragged me away. I am this close. You are the same distance, okay? Don't, that's very rude. What's well, very rude? You shouldn't do things like that to your sister. You shouldn't do things like that to your sister. Now you're just mocking me. No, you're just mocking me. Believe you can and you will. There's a motivational poster thing that's right next to me. I was just reading it out loud. That one says happy above it, doesn't it? Does that's, it? Yeah, that's not really motivational though. It's just like happy. <laughs> what do you think of motivational quotes? Some of them are kind of cringy. Like what? Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, you could say something instead of just leaving it silent I while I'm know. thinking. Sorry. <laughs> I quite like that one that you have on your wall. Um, if you don't climb the mountain, you can't see the view. What does it mean? Um, you have to have hard work to achieve nice things. <laughs> it takes perseverance, hard work, and perseverance. No, it's oh, no. <laughs> hard work, perseverance, and, and hard, hard work. work. You said hard work twice. That's because it, it takes, takes twice as much hard work as perseverance. <laughs> Quote from Chicken Run there. I think we said before that we could quote the whole film. Yeah. Motivational quotes are weird though. I I tweet a lot of motivational quotes. I used to. I don't know if I do as much anymore. I just kind of tweet like... Stuff. Actual quotes. It's ones that are just quotes and you don't know who said them. Yeah, like ones that have like an actual author. Yeah. Because you could just be tweeting like... Or like you could be quoting like, I don't know, Hitler Yourself. or someone. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you know, like, people can take quotes out of context, so you could take, like, Stalin or Hitler's or someone bad's, like, quote, and sort of put it up, and everyone's like, oh, that's lovely, who wrote that? And you'll be like, um, Addie Hitler. Ad- Adolf Hitler. And they'll be like, oh, my word, that's awful, but then, like... But people at the time, of, like, Hitler did some good work in Germany. Like, I'm not saying... Oh, here we go, GCSE history student. <laughs> I'm not saying he was a good guy, right? But he did get Germany out of, like, really high unemployment and stuff. Like, he did some good stuff and then he went bad. I think just power went to his head. Maybe he always had the plan to, like, kill everybody. I don't know. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that he wasn't bad. He was definitely bad, but just... He had some good ideas before he started 
killing people. I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> it's just, um, Judith doesn't like Hitler. We don't like Hitler. He was a bad man. Yep, we don't support Hitler in any way. He was a bad man. Yep. There's lots of good people in the world. See the good in people. See the good in everyone. Don't, Is that a motivational quote that you saw don't, somewhere? <laughs> don't judge people. Just be nice to everybody. Say hello. Smile. Wave. Give a high five. I like high fives. I think they should be more frequent. No. Hmm? High fives are awkward because if you get them wrong, then it's just kind of like, oh, do we go again? No? Okay. I think it should be a rule that if you do it badly, you go again. And if you get it wrong the second time, you just leave it. I think that should be the unwritten yeah. rule because then everyone knows where you are. You're not just standing there. Oh, will we go again? Hands in the air. No? Okay. Right. Just have you ever been rejected myself. from a high five? Yeah. I don't. That's why I don't go straight up at the air for a high five. You just kind of go shoulder sort of go height. Shoulder height. And it's like, high five. I normally announce it too, so that kind of helps. <laughs> but then it's even more awkward if you don't get a high five. <laughs> high five. Okay. That's one of you just sort of go high five yourself. yourself. Yeah. I think I'm going to make that more of a thing, high fiving myself whenever I get rejected. Normally I just sort of put my hand down and pretend it never happened, but I think high fiving myself is a I thing. I think everybody needs to high five themselves sometimes just to give themselves a little bit of a boost. Wherever you Whenever are you're listening to this, just give yourself a wee high five. Okay, everybody all together, right hand raised. Let your left I hand... solemnly swear no. that I am. No. Right hand raised and then bring up your left hand to meet it. There we go. Your right hand, that's your other right, lads, just in case. Did I say what? Um, did I say right hand both times? Or did I say left? I don't know. I was just saying, just in case anybody was confused with their right and left hand, I was trying to help. Just oh, in case. Doesn't... I was just saying to that one person, no, your other right. Oh, okay. Just correcting them. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the teacher in school who used to make you put your hand right up in the air? Right behind your head, and then you had to pat yourself on the back, or else you had to slap yourself around the head. Yeah, depending on whether or not you got the answer right or wrong. I think most of the time I had to pat myself on the back. Same. That That's was a good. nice, a nice feeling. Yeah. Patting yourself on the back. It was a good stretch too for your arm. But you always did it with the same arm, and then one arm was like super flexible, and the other one you could only just about like slap your head with. That is true because my right arm is more flexible than my left. It's also slightly longer. It's a really weird fact. It's not okay. actually slightly longer, it was a joke, but okay. Okay. What were you going to say? <laughs> I was just going to say, that's really weird. Did you, like, measure your arms? <laughs> I don't or know. Like, or it's like one sleeve. No, but yeah, like, if you just put your hands in front of each other, you can move one shoulder slightly forward without realising oh, yeah, right it. right enough, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't. While you're relaxed or whatever. Yeah. Well, no, I th I'm pretty sure my arms are the same length. Okay. That's, so it's okay. That's, that's not so bad then. Yeah. We talked about school. Why do we always go back to geography? Teachers and... Because geography is great and we didn't really have any drama teachers. Otherwise <laughs> we'd talk about them. I really wish we had the choice to do drama in school. I think I probably would have... That probably would have been my favourite subject. But then... I love geography. Yeah. Geography's great. It is. It's everywhere too. Always happening. Always. Even right now, as you listen to this podcast, if you look around you outside, Geography is happening. Rivers are meandering. Uh, waves are either building up a beach or taking it away. Clouds are forming. Maybe rain is happening. Evaporation is happening. Wind is happening. Weather is happening. Climate change is happening. There are birds which are part of a biome which is geographical. But then you've also got vegetation. Geography kind of leads into like chemistry and physics and everything, which is I suppose why most people think geography is a science. Geography is a science. Yeah, geography no, is I mean, everything. Like, no, but I mean, like some people get like a bachelor of arts in geography. It's kind of like, um, mate, no, did you just color in for four years? Yeah, like that's clearly what those people do. Yeah. Whereas we did science. We did do science. We did for at least biology I did in a couple and... of modules. It was. It was, no, it was fun, actually. Science we had to do. We did biology and chemistry and physics. I was trying to think of what's the thing with all the numbers. Statistics. <laughs> and I did, like, politics. Oh, I did do politics too. Po politics. Where did, did you do, do politics? politics? Oh, I just oh, my broke word, your and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you pull that off? Hi! You broke it! I just stroked your 
chain of Terry's. Oh, okay. It was a, is that a motivational quote? No. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You broke the string. I literally just did this. Well, the string was clearly very delicate, which is why it was hanging there delicately, and you broke it. <laughs> You're delicate. I'm not. You are. <laughs> Pia, what were we talking about? Geography. Geography. When did you do politics? Second year. Oh, uh, yeah, right. I did more politics than you then. I did more science. Yeah. Which means I'm a better people person and you're a better cloud person. What? You did atmospheres and oceans. That's that's clouds. Clouds and oceans. Yeah, but third year it was more oceans. Okay, well then you're a I could be an, I could be a marine biologist. You're, I thought you were gonna say you could be a mermaid and I was like, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a mermaid. I don't even like mermaids. Why? They're weird. They are kind of creepy. You think they're all pretty, like the little mermaid, and then you watch Harry Potter and they're just monsters. I was gonna say Peter Pan. Oh yeah, they're evil in that too. But Chloe, mermaids aren't real. I know they're not real, but I still don't like them. Okay, what about fairies? Eh, I don't know. I think tiny people are weird. Not like dwarves and stuff, but like tiny, <laughs> tiny people. <laughs> Like, well, like, like borrowers and stuff. Like that's so weird. Like, you have tiny feet and tiny toilets. Tiny toilets. And tiny bees. Like, what? But imagine being a tiny person. Like you could have a whole. You could be crushed by a poo. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was going to say you could have a whole marshmallow for a meal, but that's cool. Like a mini marshmallow would probably be a meal. But would it, it depends how small you are, because a mini marshmallow could just be like a normal marshmallow. Oh yeah, I suppose, yeah. And like a Rice crispy could be like... I don't know what a big Rice crispy. <laughs> <laughs> a wee Rice crispy like with a bit of melted marshmallow on it could be like a Rice crispy Squires bar. Imagine how sticky that would be though. Well, think about how sticky normal Rice crispy Squires bars are. I used are. to live on them when you go bed. And dip them in hot chocolate, because... They were like, you have to have something hot to drink. And I was like, but I don't like anything hot to drink. So then I had hot chocolate, but I just dipped stuff in it and then poured it out. Warm juice is nice. It's not. It's okay. On a really cold day, whenever you need something warm. Or whenever you have a really sore throat, warm juice is nice. Not well, for like a couple of gulps. Like, not like a full cup. I'd rather just drink cold stuff. That's how you get bad throats. Well, there we go. That's how I have a deep voice. My word, you're yawning again. Because of your face. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm not really a breakfast person, but in Duke of Ed I had breakfast all the time. And that's why I had Squares Bars, because I was like, yeah, that's like cereal. But it's not as nice as normal cereal. Because normal cereal is great. You know what I got into recently that I remembered that I used to like? What? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. The cinnamon one. <laughs> cinnamon one. Curiously cinnamon. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> there's lots of cinnamon ones. Well, there's not really. There's like, loads of ones in America. Like cinnamon toast crunch. But I think that's the same as cinnamon. Cinnamon grams. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it soggy, though. It's kind of like yucky. cereal soggy. No, I just like it dry. Cocoa Pops. Tesco brand Cocoa Pops are better than normal Cocoa Pops. But they're only nice, like dry. Yeah, the milk the milk was brown, but it doesn't taste chocolatey. Yeah, but you can get magic milk straws that are chocolatey, and you just slurp the milk through them, and it makes the milk chocolatey. <laughs> you just slurp the milk, the milk through it. <laughs> slurp well, the milk. <laughs> slurp the milk. Yeah, but what's your what's your all time favorite cereal? If you had like a last meal and it was cereal, you're yawning again. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna take a t tally of how many times you yawn. Okay. Um, all time favorite cereal. I think Cheerios. What kind of Cheerios? Multi grain hoops from Tesco. Other brands of Cheerios and multi grain hoops are available. Yeah, you can get them in Asda and Sainsbury's and stuff too. But the Tesco ones specifically would be the ones that I have. I think I like normal Cheerios, like actual branded Cheerios. They're nice. No? Yeah. 
But they're nice or dry. Yeah. I'm Little thinking... Cheerios are nice, like moist. I'm not a huge fan of them. You said you did like them. They're okay. Like they wouldn't be my first choice. <laughs> Like, I if, love how you do that. What? <laughs> if you don't, if you like, if you don't like them, but you don't hate them, it's just always the same. They're okay. <laughs> it's always the wee tut, and then <laughs> they're okay <laughs> because they are. They're just that's that's their level. There's, like you don't even need to. Say, <laughs> there's no. Oh, there's <laughs> There's you the best. Even, you don't even, no, no. <laughs> you don't even need that. It's okay. You just need the. <laughs> no, but there's the best. Then there's it's all right. Then there's it's okay. <laughs> then there's mm, and then there's just nah. And then there's various levels of nah. <laughs> I just realised that you just always do the it's okay. <laughs> like, uh, sorry. What do, What do you mean though? Like, as in, I always do it that way, or yeah. Cool. <laughs> And every time you th- every time you say a cool, you throw out a wee thumbs up. <laughs> I do. <laughs> thumbs up for my things. Thumbs up at a wee wave. <laughs> <laughs> Saying hello to anybody, even if it's on like radio, you wave. I do. Or even if it's on TV, it's like hi Frank. <laughs> the wee wave. Did you missed Frank yesterday? I did. Frank wasn't on yesterday. It was Saturday. No, but Frank was in the time. <sighs> yeah, I could have met Frank, but you didn't. So that sucks. I think if I did meet him, I wouldn't know what to say because I would be like, I have made so many ridiculous videos of me screaming at the TV at you, and it, this is just weird. I think it's better if we just keep our distance. <laughs> I like you, but I respect your distance. I'd like to meet Paul Clark though. Paul I Clark, if you're too. listening, uh, let's let's meet up sometime and say hey. We're gonna try and remember what time this is, just so we can be like, yo, Paul Clark, listen to our latest podcast about fifty nine minutes, or someone just screen record it. Yeah, Paul Clark's great. I love Paul Clark. He's he always has. He's such a top lad. Great tie selection. Yeah. I'd like to know where he gets his ties because then I could get down a tie. Like, I would be sorted for life. I could just be like, yeah, get this tie. Yo, Paul Clark, what tie were you wearing on Wednesday the 16th of March? <laughs> <laughs> he had a rainbow tie one time. I don't think I've ever seen No, he was wearing a rainbow tie and at the same time Jon Snow on Channel 4 News was wearing a rainbow tie and I took a screenshot and I was like, who wore it better? I was like, clearly Paul Clark wore it better but a lot of people said Jon Snow did and I was like, excuse me, no. Paul Clark was an absolute gent. He was. He was like, yeah, Jon Snow, I think he wore it better and everyone was like, excuse you, Paul Clark. (laughs) You can wear a tie better than anybody, okay? (laughs) What? You can wear a tie better than anybody. <laughs> that rainbow striped tie was class, okay? I don't think, think it's a t- tie making contest. Is Paul Clark's here? I don't think Pull I. It off. But I don't think I've ever seen Paul Clark wear the same tie twice. I've run it. No, I think I have. Maybe I haven't. He always seems to have a different tie. I'm going to have to keep a better eye on the next. I've seen Frank piece. wearing the same tie twice because he has a tie that I really like, which is blue <laughs> with squares on it. It's really cool. And then he has the bumblebee striped tie. <laughs> What? Your favourite ties from over the presenter. <laughs> Our like, best has nice ties too. He shops next, though, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know where you shop, Barra. <laughs> I'm not a stalker, my friend's friend said Some. that she saw Barra in next, and then my friend knew that I liked weather guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping yourself here. <laughs> Between having a favourite time <laughs> and, and saying you like weather guys. I respect them as broadcasters and meteorologists. Paul has a nice sign off to news. I like that. Just everybody says, and when you do get to bed, sleep well. That's just like, oh, thanks, Paul. I will go to bed and I'm not going to stay up half the night just wondering. But like, no other news presenter says that on UTV. They're just like, good night. And it's just Paul Clark that says sleep well and it's just sort of like, yeah. But Frank says take care, be good. He does, most of the time. Sometimes he just says, like, take care. Or be good. Yeah. And I don't, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we move on from weather? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to, I have, I have. You thought this podcast was going to be boring and then we started talking about UTV. <laughs> We have three or four. I have three or four stories because Judith went through most of hers last week. I, like I told hers. like three. Yeah, but well, I, I have, have more. <laughs> I have a couple. You know, you can save yours for next week because okay. I went through and I looked up for mine or like I thought about mine. So the first one is about socks. Right. 
Right, ignore me a second. You know, you know just... as a kid, right, you can you at least sort of like nod or yeah. say yes and stuff. Um, as like a kid, you like you're learning to put on your socks and shoes yourself, and you know that shoes have like a right foot and a wrong foot. Yeah. And some socks with like patterns and stuff, like with like a wee princess on like one side. Yeah. That has to go on a particular foot. I was maybe like three, and I don't know how many to every single day for a good two weeks. <laughs> I asked my mummy if I was putting my socks on the right feet because one day, one day I wore socks with ballerinas on the side and they had to go on a particular foot and me, we three-year-old me didn't realise that like this was just this particular pair of socks that had to go on the right foot and yeah, I just got, I think my mum and daddy got annoyed because eventually I think, I think those socks went missing and then they were sort of like, doesn't matter what put you, foot you put your socks on. <laughs> <laughs> I remember trying to explain that to Rachel too because she had socks that have like a wee star yeah, on, the outside. on the outside and I was like oh no you've got your socks on the wrong foot and she was like no but mummy says that socks don't have a f like a right foot or a wrong foot and I was like no 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 but you have to have the pattern so it's on the outside and she was like no but mummy says that they don't have a right foot or a wrong foot and I was like no but the pattern <laughs> so everyone so everyone can see the pretty pattern on your socks you like but socks don't have a right foot or a wrong foot and it's like okay that's fine <laughs> let's just don't cry please don't cry <laughs> another one was it was like coming up to holidays and i was maybe like six or seven i think it was like one of like second or third like foreign holiday and we were going to cyprus or lanzarote or somewhere and i knew that the plane was leaving at three but i didn't know if it was three a.m or three p.m yeah, you just knew it was so three. So I woke up at like half two in the morning and I lay there going, we're not going to make this fight. This <laughs> 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 <So rude. laughs> It's half two and we have to get to the airport. <laughs> we have to get through security. <laughs> I don't even think it was that. I think it was maybe like, I think it was maybe like maybe four or five in the morning and I knew it was 3 p.m. but I was like mum was talking about how we had to leave early to get th through security and all that and oh, I think maybe that was it rather than I didn't know if it was 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. but I was like I went in and it was really was stupidly early basically and it was probably excitement as well but I went in and I was like mummy would we need to get up now? <laughs> 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 mum was like it's half five in the morning I was like I know mummy but we have a flight to catch <laughs> <laughs> mommy told me to go back to bed and I was like okay came back 20 minutes later mommy <laughs> we don't need to get up now <laughs> oh this is my favourite Chloe it's 10 to 6 go back to bed okay this time this time I sort of thought Chloe she's a wee bit annoyed 45 minutes later <laughs> could you even tell time I did I had my wee purple elastic watch with the glow-in-the-dark hands. Was yours not pink? No, mine was purple with pink what flowers. What was mine then? Oh, mine was blue. No, yours was pink. No, mine was blue. Yours was pink. It was blue and it, it had pink. silver sparkles with but pink on it. No, but first of all, you got uh, you had a pink one. What pink one? It was just like, it was like a Barbie one. It wasn't a Barbie with one. With the elastic. No. The elastic strap. The, my blue one was <laughs> elastic. You had a pink one too. And then you couldn't get the pink one the second time, so you got a blue one. And I've had like, I had like three purple ones. Prove it. Okay. Okay. There's photos. We'll post a picture anyway, on Twitter. Anyway, 45 minutes later. <laughs> Mommy, what do we need to be getting up now? <laughs> Chloe, it's half six. We don't need to be leaving till nine. Okay. I got up at half six and just watched films then the rest of the morning. And then by nine o'clock, nine o'clock, I was, I was out for the count in front of the TV. I don't remember getting into the car. <laughs> I remember arriving at the airport. <laughs> and then I remember getting on the plane. <laughs> That's all I remember. But yeah, that's like Christmas morning and stuff. I always remember we would have like got up and gone into mommy and been like, Mommy, can we get up yet? She would have been like, girls, it's it's six o'clock in the morning. Santa hasn't been yet. Away you go back to bed. Okay, mommy. Half an hour later. Mommy, can we get up and see if Santa's come yet? No, Santa hasn't been yet. Go back to bed. And just constantly running in and out and in and out. And then there was that time on our birthday that we woke up super duper early. And we started playing with Lego. Like, our presents were in our room. It was the pop-up tent and the oh, tunnel. Yeah. And we were playing, and then the next thing Mum came in, I was like, girls, it's the middle of the night. And we were like, but it's light outside. <laughs> our birthday has come. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get up, Mummy. <laughs> we have a couple other shout-outs, just as they sort of poured in yeah. from the start of the podcast. So, a shout-out to Dave! Exclamation, exclamation mark. mark. Yes. 
See, that's, that's great. You don't even, like, I love sort of, like, typed things because you just say it as it's spelt. You don't even have to, like, shout it. Like, normal people would shout that, but it's not even in capitals, so I just have to say, div exclamation mark. Yep. Uh, Emily wants us to say, she, she sells, sells seashells, seashells by the seashore. seashore. No, on the seashore, it says right on here. On the seashore. Yeah. She sure, sells. Sure, see the on shells, see sells, she. Well, oh, that's awkward oh, you said backwards. It backwards. Oh. She sells seashells on the seashore, and if she sells seashells on the seashore, then she sells seashore shells. I think I messed that up, but it was yeah. just because you were confusing me. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah, we have um, round the rugged ro rock, the ragged rascal ran. That's been growing up. Just just to say. Yeah, we have a we have a tweet from Alan as well. Um, he wants us to count how many strings of spaghetti I can get in a can, but um. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I don't think we even have a can or spaghetti. Yeah, well, but I mean, would it be cooked spaghetti? Yeah, or would it be? I suppose strings of spaghetti sort of suggests it's cooked. Yeah, yeah, because otherwise it's sticks of spaghetti. Is that a thing? Sticks of spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti I think so. Sticks. Um, he also asked us to shout out his podcast. Uh, I think it's the Curious World of Alan Ferguson. We'll we'll give it a retweet there. Um. Yeah, we'll give it a retweet. Uh, it says, can you shout out my podcast episode that I recently made from a recordings in New Zealand? So I'd assume that's what it is. New Zealand is cool. I've yeah. never been to New Zealand, but I'd like to go. I think it'll be cool. So that's, yeah. Thank you guys for tweeting. That's that's great. That's like the first time we've got responses. Yeah. To <laughs> will, will I do one more story? Go for it. Will I do toilet or boke? Uh, both um, have ones that I could mention, but um, go for the toilet one, I think it's great. Okay, right, so, um, <laughs> again, I was young. <laughs> just just want to point this out. <laughs> I wasn't last week. Not in my 20s or my teenager. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to tell that I wasn't in my 20s <laughs> whenever I tell this story. I was getting ready for bed, I was cleaning my teeth, that was all dumb, and then I was going for a last minute wee wee before bed, and daddy had been to the toilet, and you know what men are like, they leave the toilet seat up. Me, not realising, because the light was like, it was only like the wee mirror light that was on, so it wasn't that bright, mirror, mirror. Let's just leave mirror for now. Um, <laughs> it was on, so I didn't realise, and I was in kind of a wee bit of a rush anyway, and I went to sit down, and yeah, I just, I went down. <laughs> Man, <laughs> man down, little girl down, and I was. <laughs> I remember that I was small enough that I fell the whole way down, and my knees were below the top, so I <laughs> I was stuck with my legs flailing in the air. Your legs at your chest, basically my legs at my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I went plop into the puddle at the bottom. I was... I, I don't think I was old enough to be able to lock the door. I think it was Daddy that had to come in and rescue me. And then he was like, he got me all sorted and dried and pulled up my trousers and everything. And then I peed myself because I didn't, didn't get a chance to pee because I fell into the toilet. You think it's funny that there's another level? Mm. <laughs> Your wee wees! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you find my um, you know, childhood stories as interesting I and was, as funny as Judith. <laughs> I was gonna tell mine, but it's just it's not gonna add up to yours. It's not gonna <laughs> I think it's just how it's told, Judith. This is how it's told. I remember that night. <laughs> <sighs> that was that you must have been what, P one, P two? Yeah. Because I remember that because it also sits in my mind with whenever you learned about razors. I learned about razors at school that day, and then I was sitting up beside the sink, and I was, I, I just saw Daddy's razor, and I was like, oh yeah, we learned about these in school today. And I was sitting holding it, and I was like, and you're not meant to touch this pointy bit here, because you can cut your as finger. As her finger slowly as, went towards as, it. As I touched the pointy bit. And I kind of looked at my finger. It wasn't sore, but I, I definitely touched the corner of it. Not even, like, the razor bit. You know the bit along the middle, where it's like, actually... Yeah. They were actually telling you, but I obviously couldn't see whenever they were explaining it in class. So I was just like, okay, razors are pointy, don't touch them. And I touched the corner of it, and it wasn't sore, but I was like, THERE'S blood ON MY FINGER! <laughs> I started screaming and crying, and Mom was like, what did you do? And I was like, I, I, I touched the razor! <laughs> it's funny, because that's how he cried as a way. He tried to talk, and he just couldn't get your breath. Like, I don't know where I am! <laughs> 
trying to calm down away and it's crying like that. You're like, breathe. <laughs> please, look, please, look, look at me. Look at me. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. <laughs> like a baby sitting. It's just, breathe. Okay, stop. Shh, shh. Calm down. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Take a deep breath. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you bounced them on the knee with that big counteract that <laughs> panted and they'd be able to breathe normally. We'll try that next time. Anyway, Not that we're going to make a child cry yeah. on purpose, but... I think they were crying that bad because they didn't get to go... No, that's what... They didn't get to go to the toilet by themselves because they didn't know how to wipe properly and then she fell down the toilet and she had locked the door and I couldn't get into her and she was roaring and screaming and I eventually, like, found a coin or something to, like, open the door because it was one of those ones that you can just put, like, a coin in yeah, and turn it. Just turn it. And it was, like, it was too stiff to be able to, like, turn by hand and then I didn't know where there was a coin. I couldn't get any keys that were that size and then I was, like, yeah. But as I got in, she was... Oh, she was a mess. Not like messy mess, just sort of like in tears. But yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Yeah, thank you. Um, we'll be back again in a we while. We didn't do a Northern Irish Word of the Week uh, or Phrase of the Week. Um, Mur. <laughs> I think we've done that one before though. Oh. Uh, um, Thon. Thon, yeah. Thon thing. Thon, thon man. Thon boy. That's T-H-O apostrophe N. Thon. I thought it was T-H, T-H apostrophe O-N. O-N. I think it could be both. Which basically just means, like, Don boy over there, it means that, like that, that man over there, <laughs> or that boy over there, or yeah. Don one, just that one. <laughs> Don <Thorn> cake. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just say Don, and it's just that one. Over there. I suppose it means that, that one. Yeah. That kind of makes sense, because apostrophe is in the right place and stuff. Yeah. There you go, that's your Northern Irish Fears of the Week. Try and use that as much as you can. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, at skit underscore twins. Oh, you said it right. I know. Or uh, at skit under slash twins if you, if you prefer. I Do you roll. Just did an eye roll. <laughs> uh, we're also on Instagram, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. Uh, remember to like. Share. Subscribe. And give us ideas for other videos that you want to see, whether it be of the i5s or just like little spoof reels. We're planning on a couple of spoof reels, so if there's any TV shows you want us to attempt to do a spoof of. Yep. Send them our way. If you're listening on iTunes, give us a rating and leave a review. We'll try and read some of them if we get any yeah. more. At least read it, because that only takes like a minute to do. Yeah, you literally just click it. It's yeah. like about, what, five seconds if you're slow. Um, not that I'm calling anyone slow. If you're listening on SoundCloud, give us a wee like. Um, and again, share us. And if you're listening on YouTube, then you're a whole week late at listening. You should subscribe on like SoundCloud and iTunes to get it like a week before. Yeah, SoundCloud is free to download too. And um, yeah, you can just get lots, lots of podcasts on there. Yeah, some music too. Um, but yeah, please share it. Yeah, share it around. More people listening. All good. Give us a wee tweet if you are listening, and tell us where and why. Unless and you're on the toilet, in which case, you know, we don't really need to know that. Yeah, wherever you're listening, give it. <laughs> Let us know. Tell us anyway, just don't go into detail. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to know necessarily what you're doing, but you know. Gardening is fine. If you're gardening while listening, that's cool. What do you do if you, you can't, can't find a loo in an English country garden? garden. No, that's all I was thinking. Plant plants and fertilise the plants in an English country garden. Bye! Bye! Take Whee! care, be good!